So instead of just doing square roots, we can also look at nth roots, which means that n can be anything greater than 2 as a whole number. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, etc. And so if we do the product, it's just like before. If we have the product of an nth root, it can be separated as an nth root of each of those components. And same thing with division. So let's actually look at an example. Uh, when we're doing this, we want to find the cube root of 48. So we need to find something cubed that is 48. The easiest way for most students is to actually use the tree method. So what is that? So that means I write down the 48, and now I need to find the factors of 48. Well, I notice there's a 4 right off the bat, so it's going to be 4 times 12. I know that 4 is 2 times 2, 12 is 4 times 3, and 4 is 2 times 2. So remember, the point of the, fa of the tree is to get prime numbers at the end of your tips of your leaves. Now, in order for me to use what I need, I need to find three things that look the same. So I've got a 2 and a 2 and a 2. And then I need to make sure I don't forget anything that's left over. So I've also got a 2 and a 3. So what does that mean? Well, that means then that I'm going to have the cube root of 2 cubed times 2 times 3 is 6. So the cube root of anything cubed is just that number. And then I'm going to get the cube root of 6. So that's going to be your final answer. Now, what happens over here on the right? Well, I'm doing division, but same thing. I still want to use the tree method to see if there's going to be anything that is going to have a perfect cube. So if I look at 52, the first thing that I see is actually a 2. And I would do 2 times 26. And then 26 would be 2 times 13. Well, 13 is prime. 2's are prime. So in this case, it turns out I can't do anything to the fourth power to get that. So the top is pretty cool. It's just going to be four, the fourth root of 52. Now on the bottom down here, remember I need to make this 4. So I can do the fourth root of x to the fourth times x squared. So on top, this hasn't changed. It's still the fourth root of 52. Now I'm going to have x to the fourth root of x squared. Oh no, now I've got something in the bottom that's got a radical. So what does that mean? That means I'm going to have to rationalize this. So I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by the fourth root of x squared. So when I do that, on top, this was already not to a fourth power, so I can put those back underneath. And so I'm kind of running out of room, so I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to have the fourth root of 52 x squared. And on the bottom, I'm going to have x to the fourth times x squared, which is going to give me the fourth root of 52x squared over x to the negative. Now we're going to add those, so 4 plus 2 is 6.